Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make a video. I haven't made a video in a while. And the topic of this video is going to be why I'm deciding to go to therapy and why I've started therapy. Now, for a long time, I thought that I could just like write about my experiences and write about traumatic events that have happened to me and for a while that was it seemed to be working but over this last quarter uh, at school it's been really stressful and I've tried to integrate trauma during that and it just hasn't worked out too well I've re-traumatized myself as I've made videos before and it's increased um, feelings of depersonalization and derealization and so about five weeks ago or about a month ago actually I started to go to therapy and the reason why is because I needed I need someone to help me integrate trauma I need someone to help me uh, contain contain my emotions and so I don't get too overwhelmed too fast and so far I think that it's going well it's still hard work and something that we've kind of decided is or at least something that my therapist has decided is that she sees my situation as having more to do with PTSD and that doesn't mean that I don't have depersonalization disorder it just means that there's it's more along the lines of more complex post-traumatic stress disorder and so I think that that's kind of added to the the strength of what I've been trying to deal with um, in terms of the memories that I've been trying to go back to uh, I think that they're pretty pretty hard to resolve and I've I've tried to go back and resolve them on my own or at least without the context of a therapist and it hasn't seemed to work out and so that's why I'm going to therapy and so I just want you guys to not be afraid to go to therapy I know that everybody has different experiences and everybody has had different levels of hard experiences and I think that if you're having trouble integrating trauma on your own then I would definitely consider finding a therapist and the kind of therapist you want to find is one who they, they don't even they may not necessarily need to have knowledge of depersonalization disorder but they should be aware of dissociation and know what it is um, but also they need to be experienced in trauma integration or um, dealing with trauma related disorders like PTSD and, and things like that because that's really what you need to be doing to at least from what I've researched and from what I have come to believe at this point that's really if you're if you're stuck chronically in DP then you have unresolved trauma and that's my understanding and so that's why I've gotten started going to therapy and you know I'm still I feel kinda bad because I make videos about depersonalization and how to get better but I'm not out of it yet and I just want to let you guys know that the videos that I make about how to heal from depersonalization they're based on research and they are things that have helped me feel better and understand my situation but there's just a lot to deal with in my situation there's a lot of emotions and uncovering experiences that have become a little bit too hard for me to do on my own and so no I'm not out of depersonalization derealization and it sucks like it sucks so bad but we if you're still in this we can you know we can get out and that's why I decided to go to therapy I want to give myself the best the best opportunity to get better and I just think that, you know, don't be afraid of therapy. I kind of was not, I, kind of, I wasn't afraid of therapy, but I just thought 
that I could do it on my own, in all honesty. And some of you may be able to do it. And I think that there's a lot you can do on your own. And I don't think you should stop doing stuff on your own. But if it's too hard to integrate trauma, I would definitely recommend finding a therapist who can help you with that. And it's another thing that eventually you're going to have to do is let go of this concept of trying to get better really fast or trying to manipulate the timeline of your healing process because it's I've just learned that sometimes it doesn't go as you want and you're gonna have to be satisfied with what's happening now no matter what and if that means that you're still living kind of in a dream world then you gotta accept it but do everything you can to put yourself in the right position to get the best help you need. So, this is the video. That is, that was the video. Thanks for watching. I'll definitely be making more videos soon. Haven't been very active and in school, doing a lot of work, and that's kind of led to difficulties in the healing process from depersonalization just if you're stressed out it's super hard to to heal because your body is not not in that mode and so yeah i just want to leave you guys with that um yeah hope you guys are having a, a good one peace good luck